Hi, Dr. Bill here. I'm going to talk to you about a very hot topic at the moment in the news, something that everyone is talking about or interested in. I'm going to share with you what are the seven simple ways that you can defeat swine flu. Before we get into those seven ways, I'm going to reveal a secret to you. Now this little secret is not generally talked about in respect of swine flu, but it's the secret to defeating it, and that is your immune system. Your immune system is a bit of an enigma, like a mystery. There are many, many things that affect the immune system, and there are many things that are affected by the immune system. It's a little bit like a battery in a car. There are so many things that depend on the normal function of your battery your horn, your lights, your radio, your CD player, your alarm, and even the starting of the car. And of course, as you know, if you leave your lights on for too long, or anything else, that can actually flatten your battery. And so the immune system is like a battery. It can be flattened. It needs to be recharged. And if the immune system drops down, then all of those things in your body that depend upon your immune system, any one of them, can be affected. So many things can affect your immune system, many things are affected by it. So these seven ways are going to focus to a large degree on your immune system. So number one on our list is reducing stress and tension. Now that might seem like an obvious thing to say but it's a very profound one because when you have too much stress or too much tension for too long it depletes your immune system and when your immune system is weak then you're more susceptible to infections bacteria flu viruses etc so that's number one now in order to help you further with that if you go to my website www.empoweryou.com.au you'll find a free report there called the secret missing key and that will give you some tips on how you can manage your stress better. In fact, we've got a number of programs on that website. And one is this book, which is a very, very helpful way of reducing your stress. And of course, we also have the Life Empowerment course, which is a CD and workbook home study program that you can use if you want more information on that. But there's a freebie on the website for you entitled, entitled The Secret Missing Key. So I'd encourage you to get that because that will help you. But if you want to go further, there's other materials there. Number two in, on our list is detoxification. The reason we mention, mention detoxification, particularly of the liver and the bowel and the body in general, is because germs, viruses, bacteria thrive in a toxic environment. So the more cleansed your system is, the less likelihood that a germ can survive in your body. So detoxification is part of your strategy for defeating any infection. But of course we're talking about the spine flu. And in the book here, which of course is called Detoxification and Regeneration, that also goes into more detail on how you can detox your body. Now we have a special offer on this that for the first hundred people that are getting this information they can get this book download for free. So again go to the same website and there you'll find a, um, a note there which put in your email address and we'll send you an email, a, a download copy of the book free. If you want a hard copy just send us five dollars to the address listed there and we'll send you a copy for free. That's limited to the first 100 people. Our third item is nutrition, particularly nutrition for the immune system. Now we've all heard of the term antioxidants. Antioxidants are vitamin A, E, C, zinc, selenium. They're the basic ones. There is a few other more sophisticated products like grape seed extract and there's a lot of practitioner only products that you can get which also help to really empower your immune system one of those is a product called 
super oxide dismutase. So you'd have to see a practitioner to get that. And that has a very uh, powerful effect on the immune system, quenching free radicals. The other vitamins we mentioned earlier actually help with free radicals as well. There's also another, many other products that companies have that they put out that have a very good effect on the immune system. Uh, a product that we use here that we get good results with is Zangoa. That's a mangosteen Asian juice. So if you want more information on that, just contact us either via our website or our clinic phone number. Now, a little tip for you, and we use this a lot with our patients. If you do contract a virus or a bacteria, any virus or bacteria, we recommend usually three things. Vitamin C, which is a half a teaspoon, three times a day. Eucalyptus oil. Now, not says poisonous on the bottle, but remember, you get eucalyptus lozenges. So all you need is one drop on your tongue, three times a day. And the other thing we use is colloidal silver, and that's about a teaspoon, three times a day. Children, half dosage, infants, half again. Now, that's if you have a problem. But if you want to use it temporarily as a preventative, you can actually take it once a day instead of three times a day. So that's the vitamin C, half a teaspoon once a day, the eucalyptus, one drop on your tongue once a day, and the, um, the third one is the colloidal silver, one teaspoon. Uh, gargle if you're trying to prevent a virus. So on a preventative basis, just taking that for about a month, we don't advise taking it long term. Just take it for about a month while the crisis is on, and that will act as a good preventative for you. But again, in our Detox and Rejuvenation book, we also talk about nutrition for the immune system. So you can actually get more information in that. Our fourth one on the list is diet. I'm going to keep this very simple, and that is decrease your flesh and your dairy foods. Because they're carry a lot of waste byproducts that the body has to eliminate. And remember, germs love toxic material, they love waste byproducts that gives them food to feed on. So keep your flesh and your dairy reduced and also your sugar and fat. And try and eat a lot more fruit and veggies. A good veggie juice to use is carrot juice and beetroot. Three parts carrot, one part beetroot. That helps detox your liver. And also sprouted seeds and grains. They're very, very potent, very high energy food. Again, that's indicated more in our detox and rejuvenation book on the diet. Number five, exercise. Exercise is important, and I'm sure you're sick of hearing about exercise, but the one caution I wanted to make on this point was don't over-exercise, because over-exercise will stress your immune system and leave you more prone to contracting an illness. Remember, athletes do get sick because often they overtrain for their immune system. Maybe not for their sport, but for their immune system. Number six, sound sleep. It may seem very simple, but not everybody gets it. Learn to relax and switch off before you go to bed at night. Between six to eight hours is best, no less, no more. Otherwise, it throws your body cycles out and get plenty of rest and relaxation. That helps your immune system to regenerate. Number seven, and last on our list, is nature. What do I mean by nature? Nature is very powerful in regenerating our systems, particularly our immune system. Now, for everybody it may be different. For me, it's the beach and the surf. For you, it might be the mountains or the countryside or something else. You might be your own back garden, parks, whatever it is, where you feel at peace and where you feel you can connect with nature, I would recommend you take some time out for that. So there are my seven tips for your prevention. And even if you contract it, you can use these tips to help you overcome it. So I would refer you back to our website for more information and would invite you to pass along this information to your friends to help them. Thank you for your time.